Hello, welcome, it's Melinda from Spreadsheetables, and I thought I would shoot a quick video on how to create donut graphs with the percentage in the middle in Google Sheets. So you often see these graphs, um, people are selling spreadsheets on Etsy and things, and I think they're really cute, um, but I, there wasn't a lot of information online about them. So in case you don't know how to make them, let's uh, make one today. So I'm going to just start out with a simple data set of maybe yes and no. And we'll put in some numbers. So five people said yes and nine people said no. And we're going to figure out the percentage of people that said yes and make a donut graph with it. So to actually do this, if you look th at this, um, the percentage is actually done separately. It's not part of the graph. So if I move this, this is actually just calculated underneath and then the graph is laid over top. So we're going to do equals this cell divided by um, yes plus the no. and it's already in percentage. So if it wasn't in percentage, you would click up here and we'll get rid of some of the decimal places. And we can make this bigger. For some reason, the italic is on, so we're gonna take that off. And now that we have that, we can insert a graph. So when you go to select it, you can go down to pie and there's the donut chart down here. Now you'll notice that this has a white background to it and to show the percentage through, we're going to have to take that background off. So you're going to go to chart style and go to background color and then click none and that will take it off for us. And we also need to select the data range that we want for this. So I'm going to click here. Highlight these two cells. Click OK. Now you'll notice when I go to take this graph and put it over top of the percentage here, it's actually not letting me go past this point. Um, so I'll need to add some more um, rows down below. So I'm going to just add 100 more. And that's going to allow me to drag this over top. And now we can customize it. So we can take off these labels if we want like a really clean minimalist look. And we can change the colors. So to do any edits on the graph, we can click this menu here and click Edit Chart. And then it will pop up. So the first thing I like to do is I take the border off. So I'll go to chart style, chart border, color, and I'll click none. And you can see that takes the border off of this, this square or the rectangle here. Now to change the colors, you can go to pie slice and slice one is set to blue. So we can change that. Maybe we'll change it to a dark pink and then select slice two and do a lighter pink. Now for the labeled percentages on the side here, you can go down to legend and it's the position is set to auto. So if you click that and then click none, it will take those labels off. Now you can play around with some other settings. So if you go to pie chart, you can adjust the donut hole size. So 25% makes the hole smaller, 75% makes it a lot larger. I like the one that's 50%. Okay, so that chart is done. Um, so that one was pretty simple. That was just going with kind of a yes, no, it's based off the text there. Um, if you want to count check boxes like we have for this one, um, you can use this equation. So actually the the equation is in white, so you can't see it. I have it hidden, so I will make it black so you can see it. 
sorry, not the equation, the values. Okay, so when I click here, this is the equation we have. So count if this range, the H5 to H7, is true or that the box is checked. So we have one box is checked, and you can see that in the um, donut chart here. So it's about, it's 33%. And then to count the unchecked boxes, it's count if H5 to H7 is false, so that the boxes aren't checked. And so that's how we get these graphs for the check boxes. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. These um, donut charts are really awesome for making, you know, you could make cleaning charts and to-do lists. This one's a daily top three priority to-do list, um, which helps you just like really focus on those top three things that you need to accomplish for the day. Um, so there's lots of different options you can use for these graphs, and I hope you have fun creating them.